I walk back to my room today and I smell something that smells a little bit like alcohol and a little bit like rotten fruit. What's that? Does that smell good? Yeah. yeah. You don't smell that? Huh. What is it? Apparently, one of my roommates, Herb, knew the recipe to make some jailhouse hooch. This is your brain on drugs. Real dog. Real. Herb, he's a little bit of a wild card. Who you started with? Just raw fruit and sugar. That's for raw for a minute. That's what sugar on. Like no, straight through the t-shirt and hope no white. I see illegal activity going on in here and I kind of just have to watch it happen and act like I'm okay with it just to maintain my cover. You're gonna do it. This is old backwoods redneck from West Virginia. I swear to God, he was on the news. He was making his own homemade energy drink. It had meth in it and his own piss. He was pissing in, the, in, some, in some homemade hooch. Swear. Swear. He made national headlines. That's crazy. I'm kind of faced with a dilemma because if you're bunkies with people, you watch out for each other. It's just natural. I'm thinking in my head, what's gonna happen when they find it? Not only could I be put in the hole and receive jail charges, I could receive actual criminal charges. Hi, gentlemen. What? How about you? Only take me a minute. I'm definitely scared. All four of us kind of standing there looking at each other like, hmm, if this gets caught, are we all going to get sent to the hole? I don't want to be stuck with getting charges over something stupid in here. Who sleeps back here? And as soon as he said something, I was like, God, oh, we just got hit. And I looked at Ert, the guy who had made it, and I said, hey, they found it. Whose room is this? Guys, who's in three down to three? Three down to three. You three? <laughs> Back here? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to the hole. I knew that the guy was making hooch, but I can't make it obvious that I'm a snitch. All of us are standing there knowing that if we don't turn in Erp, we're all going to go down for it. If Erp doesn't turn himself in, we're all going to go down for it. They were within their rights to bust all of us for the hooch in the pod because obviously we all knew about it. I did get a little worried that he was going to try to send us to the hole because he thought about like for a good solid like five seconds he was like. Want to get 
everybody to rap, you just want to hit him because he is admitted. Right, like, honestly, problem, problem, man. What's that, boy? Probably, I don't know about it, but I'll let you take the rap. You know what I mean? That's your call. All right, send him more. All right, time. That's your call, dude. Send my rap to my own. That's your call. They went, decided to just take him since he was man enough to admit it to him for himself. No, that's what we came in here for. We're just reporting it. Can we get lucky and find another Oh, it was right too. Yeah. Really. I heard you guys found some hooch. Uh, yes, sir. Myself and Officer Lewis found some hooch in a uh, a tote here. Two liter right here, and you can see the peaches. Yeah. And then it's also there's quite a lot of it in this bag right here. But you can actually smell it pretty good. This could be very, very dangerous, uh, especially with that amount of hooch. That's, that's quite a bit. One of the most dangerous incidents I've ever had in this jail involved uh, a bunch of trustees drinking hooch. Yeah. It was a, a bloodbath, actually. Was it? Yeah, it was the worst fight I've ever seen in the jail.